Lives as if they were only worth the dime stash. But living like a dime a dozen in front, a dozen dimes just doesn't cut it. That wasn't what it was intended for. God meant it for more mind. People as a whole now span the shores. But for many, their minds reside behind closed ghetto doors. Of course, we need people to mop the floors. But when you do it, look to the ceiling. You got ill amounts of film reels in your memory that you keep concealing in. Now all the pictures are of our people kneeling. Within our past presence were placed kings, queens, constituents of all classes. Might you be one called out from among the masses like Moses to be leading our people to freedom and above all heeding the Most High's teachings? You may say I'm um, preaching. Well, in that case, say amen. amen. I'm just tired of seeing my people traced on the pavement, a struggle in the pay rent, a waste of the time to wonder where the day went. I have a question. Have you ever seen a picture whose colors can't remain on the same canvas where they just stare at each other and say, I just can't stand this? Or have you ever seen a puzzle whose pieces repel each other permanently like opposite magnetic poles except that these are hurting to be made whole, which can only be accomplished when they take hold one of the other. In order to utter order, we must link more than shoulder to shoulder. What I'm saying is much bolder. What I mean is heart to heart, soul to soul, anything else should be called cold or distant or twisted when I start reminiscing. I remember that as a child I was taught that blocks were meant for building. But now it seems that when this block meets that block, the results are insults, blood spilling, and killing. No longer are we hearing that a pyramid was built. So if we want to get to the top, we have to use stilts. But instead of seeing people pack their belongings in a box, fleeing their blocks, because things are going down like stocks, or hiding behind closed windows and door locks, where they can hear the tick, talks, and clocks, I'd rather see them break down the boundaries and separate the blocks, lay a foundation on Christ the solid rock, and build pyramids that just don't stop, leaving the rest in shock. It has to be that we, as a people, were meant to be a masterpiece, because the master, he surely doesn't make junk. But even if you remain unsung, you might be called to be a catalyst. The question is, can you handle this? Or maybe I should ask, can the world handle us? Thank you.